Alright, today I'm going to show you how to install a font using GIMP. First you need to open up your internet and find a font website you use. I have a bookmark right here, I'll go ahead and link it into the website, or into the video. This has hundreds of fonts, maybe even thousands, I haven't really gone through them, but I'm just going to pick one real quick. We'll go with um, Fire, I guess, real quick. These are just some quick fonts, they, they look alright, I mean, they're free though, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here, and as you can see here on the right, it shows you different formats that you can buy, you can preview them if you'd like, I have a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and download it for the Mac, and it downloads right here to a TTF, TTF is uh, the font that GIMP uses. Now I'm going to show you a couple different ways, the first way is I'm going to open up GIMP so you can find your folder because some people don't know where they're located. Now sometimes when you download the fonts off of that website, they come in folders because there's a couple different files. One will be a text file like saying please email me, saying you like it or whatever. And then the rest should just be TTFs, but a TTF is all you need. So my GIMP's open. Alright, now that we have GIMP open, we go to File, Preferences. Now down here go to the Folders menu. <clears throat> Click that, now go to fonts, and here you see where your folder is located. All you need to look at is what's right after the GIMP data. None of this right here matters. But, like I said, this is how to do it on the Mac. So to go ahead and find that, open up your finder, go to applications, or wherever you happen to have your GIMP. Just go ahead and find that. Um, now, right click it control click it and hit show package contents and it brings up this go ahead go in there all right and then go to resources share GIMP 2.0 and then this last part is the folder you have your put in sorted in. I have mine stored in a sold in, in a folder called a charming font so go ahead and open that up as you can see I don't really have too many fonts but I got them so what we do is we go ahead and put the TTF in there, close this, now close GIMP all the way, go ahead and close all that. We're going to go ahead and reopen it and see if we did it right. Um, if you already know where your folder is, you don't have to open GIMP, that's just so you can find out where it's at without having to do it. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and put that in the comments. And I'll go ahead and address that. Let's see. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and just do a little search for that. Here you can see it's Acquaintance, the one that I just made. We'll go ahead and test it out. Make it large so you guys can see what it looks like. There you go. That's how to do it. Um, I'll be making a video showing you how to use brushes as well. How to insert brushes in there. Thanks for watching.